morning today i am going to discuss about some of the changes that takes place in our surroundings or in our day to day life see uh now i have a chalk piece with me see just i cut the chalk piece into two pieces still you will call it as a chalk piece isn't it still it is a chalk piece but what happened to that chalk piece the length of the chalk piece reduced that means size of the chalk piece changes and you might have seen uh, some other changes in your life see this is a cardboard paper its shape is rectangle isn't it it's a rectangular cardboard sheet now what happened the size of the rectangle reduced earlier it was of this size now the size reduced but still we call it as a change why it is a change because the size of that rectangle ch changed it became small see now again i folded it still it's a cardboard paper only but its size reduced and now see i am folding this paper in another way see now i made it as a triangle now it became triangle i folded like a triangle that means the shape changed the shape changed but still the material is same you will say that it's a cardboard but its shape changed okay now again i am just tearing like this it become shapeless there is no particular shape but still it is a what cardboard paper so see here here i showed you the ch change in shape the change in size okay so the size shape state say for example you boil water when you boil the water the water become water vapor that means it changes from the liquid state to gaseous state so all these properties say for example change in shape change in size color and state state means solid liquid or gaseous all these are known as the physical properties okay which are the physical properties size shape okay come on next state and color these are called the physical properties and change in physical properties see i showed you the change of shape okay so the change in the physical properties is known as physical changes see now i am going to burn this paper let us see what happens see now i am burning this paper see when burning see lot of heat when i am keeping my hand heat is producing light is there and see a smoke is coming out a smoke is coming out see the smoke and see here a black color ash i collected a ash that means when this particular part paper is burned now we will not call this product as what paper will you call this product as paper no you will call it as ash or carbon so a change here a change in which a new product is formed a change in which new product is formed 
and can you convert this new product to paper again can you <laughs> no so a change in which new product is formed and that cannot be converted converted back to its original thing is known as the chemical change so our topic today we are going to discuss about this topic that is physical changes and chemical changes okay so our lesson is lesson chapter 6 physical and chemical changes physical and chemical changes see in the first i showed you a paper where i folded it when i folded still you called it as paper only but when i burned what happened a new product is formed that you never call it as a paper because the product formed is new and that cannot be again converted back to paper so these are the two changes the first one i showed was physical change and the second one was chemical change so today our topic is physical and chemical changes the properties like state state of a matter say for example some are solid state some are liquid and some are gaseous so state and another one is shape we know that the things are in different shapes it may be spherical circular square rectangle and so on so that is shape and size some are bigger in size some are very smaller in size some materials are of medium size okay so size and another one is color you know there are different types of colors are there so all this what i said state shape size and color these are the physical properties these are the physical nature of a substance okay so any change in this physical properties say for example change of color change of shape change of size or change in the state of matter these changes are called physical changes hope you understood physical change okay the change in the physical properties which are the physical properties state okay next shape next one size color so these are the physical properties of a matter physical properties of substances any change that occurs in these physical properties are called physical changes say for example i folded and showed you a paper when you folded a sheet of paper its shape changes and its size may change so that is change in physical property then see if you boil water the water changes from liquid state to gaseous state okay so change of state that means the change of a physical property hold a what do you call iron rod and heat it for some time after heating for high temperature you know the iron rod become red hot so the color change if you cool again it come back to its original condition so change in color that's a physical property okay so any change in physical properties are called physical changes